Hi, my name is Aaron Ma. I'm a junior development engineer here at UCSB, working for the Institute for Terahertz Science and Technology, aka ITSC. Right now, we're currently working on polishing the undulator. Here you can see the wire guide being machined by the CNC. The CNC allows us to machine intricate designs, however the process leaves many sharp and rough edges. The wire guide must not have any sharp edges as to avoid shorts during the winding process. We use a file to break down any sharp edges of the wire guide. Once all of the sharp edges are broken, we then use fine grit sandpaper and a polishing compound in order to make the wire guide as smooth as possible. We then use a polishing accessory for the Dremel. The Dremel provides a convenient and fast way to further polish the wire guide. We use several polishing accessories for the Dremel. Once the wire guide is polished and clean, it can be sent out to get anodized. We chose a Teflon impregnated anodization process because it allows greater durability and provides a smooth surface for the wires to lie on. We sent the pieces to General Magnaplate for this process. Here we have the anodized pieces. As you can see, all sides of the wire guide were anodized. The areas that were not exposed are the tapped holes. The process also changed the color of the pieces to a dark gray, which makes it easier to see any scratches. We also added wings to the tapered sections made out of ABS. This concludes the process of polishing the wire guide. Thanks for watching and look out for the next video of us winding the undulator.